Okay, in this video I'm going to teach you how to enter an order into Linen Helper to get your laundry for the following day. First thing you need to do is go to hscl.mn.linenhelper.net. I'm not sure if you can see that in the top of my screen, so I'll type it in right here. This is the, the web address that you need to go to in order to log into Linen Helper. So go to that website. This is what will come up. It's going to ask you for a username and password. Uh, today I'm going to log in as Regions Hospitals Packroom. So log in and the main screen will come up. It's, it's got show menu count or count linen. Those are your two options. Show menu for them. <clears throat> the only option they have is count linen. Um, we want to count the linen for a cart or a closet. Um, in this case, it's, it's their pack room order. They do not get same day delivery, they get next day. So everything needs to be entered for the following day. It's possible that you should be entering for same day, but your linen room manager will tell you what day to be entering for and what your cutoff time is. For regions, their cutoff time is 8 a.m. Um, you Your cutoff time could be as late as 11, 1, or 2, depending on on when the order is built and when it ships out from the laundry. So for regions, we're going to pick tomorrow because they're, we're entering a delivery for tomorrow. It needs to be entered by 8 a.m. on Thursday. That's the cutoff. We The plant builds the order at 9 or 10 a.m., and they ship it, ship it out Friday morning at about 2 in the morning. Um, so we pick tomorrow. We pick the order we want to count. And we enter in, in this column what what is required of that order. Uh, to s in order to save this data, we have to click Show Menu and then Home. Um, you, can, you can do multiple orders in a row, but in the end you have to click Show Menu and Home to save whatever you've entered in all these orders. So, if I were doing this on a daily basis, I'd, I'd enter this OR surgery pack order, enter all my columns. I'd go down to digestive care. Now, digestive care is done a little differently. They don't place a required order. Instead, they have a par level for towels in that room. So they'd look at the number of towels in the room. It's supposed to be 25. They'd count how many are on the shelf. In this case, let's, let's say there's 10 on the shelf. We'd enter a 10 in here. The system's going to take the par level, minus this on hand level and give you the required. Whatever is in the required column, that's what you're going to get from the laundry. If you want to adjust this par level, you need to call the your linen room manager. The manager is the only one that's able to adjust this par level. Um, so we, in, for this area, we're going to enter an on hand of 10. It gives us a required of 15. We click, high, we click show menu, home, it saves all those orders. We can go back in and verify that it saved them too. We can go go to Friday We can look at digestive care. There it all showed up. There's your order. Now this last one is the stocked. You can't change that. It's, it's stuck because that is what the laundry actually ships to you over the scale. So you've got your acquired column. This is what you ordered. This is what actually shipped over the scale at the laundry. Um, in some cases, it's not here, but you're gonna see a uh, a product called stop and it says warning this order has not been adjusted it will always have a par level of one what that is is for these on hand orders if you don't enter an on hand count it ships you full par level to make sure that we don't ship out full par levels on accident we put a warning item in there it, anytime you see that item it says stop warning par of one make sure you enter an on hand count of one or we will not ship the order to you. We will stop building it, just just like it says. So um, if you see it, an, a, an item that says stop, enter an on hand of one. When you're all done, click show menu, click home, that saves it, and you're good to go.